Good morning. This is Mrs. Donald. Let's make some funny face pumpkins. Your funny face pumpkin could look like a jack-o'-lantern, but it doesn't have to. They sure do have funny faces though. There are a lot of different expressions. A silly face. That's a really silly face. A sad face. Oh, I wonder what happened to this little guy. Or even, oh, an angry face. What other kinds of expressions can you think of? I'm gonna go ahead and draw a very long oval shape, starting at the top, bring my line down and down again, around, just like a big, long, stretched out oval shape. I'm gonna start at the top and bring it around and attach it at the bottom. On the other side, same thing, start at the very top, bring it around and attach it to the bottom. Start at the top, on the other side, bring it around and attach at the bottom. Each time I do this step, I start at the top to the bottom. And just attach it at the top and the bottom, right there. And I could keep going as much as I wanted to, but I think I'm almost done. I got a nice round shaped pumpkin. Don't forget, if your pumpkin doesn't look perfect, it's okay. Pumpkins are all different kinds of shapes and sizes. I could add a stem at the top. Move my paper down a little bit. And a stem would just be sort of a rectangle. I'll add that later. I think I'm gonna cut it out now. Where's my stem at? Oh, I'm gonna add that later with the green, of course. Just cut all, all around, stay on that outer line. Don't cut any of your segments off. Then we would have a chunk out of our pumpkin. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up cutting here, just around the bottom. And of course I can turn my paper as I'm cutting to make sure that we have um, a nice cutout pumpkin. And it looks like I'm about done. Clear off there. There you go. Looks pretty good. Not bad. Time to draw some eyes. I'm gonna make two circles. Bloop, bloop. And a black pupil in the center. Little, another little circle, but you can make your eyes any way you want to. And you just have to color those eyes in. So you have a nice black dot for the eye. Much better to do it now than when we cut them out and glue them on, because then you'll get glue all over your Sharpie and then Mrs. Dalman won't be happy. Much better to do it this way. Oh, it looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna snip, 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 cut those guys out. See how I cut between them to separate them before I try to cut them on that line? It makes it so much easier. I like it to be easy. Cut out that one all around. Good job. And I'm just gonna set those aside then and I'll glue them on in a little while. Clean up my little mess. There we go. Two eyeballs. And that's just one way you can make funny face pumpkin eyes. Then I'm gonna get out my black paper and I think I'm drawing a mouth. So I'm drawing a straight line across and then a curvy line down like a half of a circle. And I can cut that out just on the pencil line Sorry, I kind of blocked my view here. There we go. Just cut it out on the pencil. And we'll have a nice mouth for our pumpkin. Again, this doesn't have to be a jack-o'-lantern. It could be just a pumpkin with a funny face. But when I put that on top of my pumpkin cutout, you'll see it makes a perfect mouth. To make the teeth, I can either cut into the black, like a jack-o'-lantern, or just take some more white paper and I'm gonna make some teeth. So I'm gonna draw a long rectangle on my white paper from one side to almost the end so I have a nice row of teeth I could cut out. So watch this all the way up and cut that out with my scissors just on the pencil line. Instead, in, you know what? You could cut out individual teeth too. It's all up to you. You don't have to make your funny face pumpkin look like mine at all. You could do it your own way. That's what's good about art. Cut, cut, cut. Sometimes I tell you to do it this certain way 
and sometimes I just say, you could do it another way. So this is definitely my way of doing it, but you could make something else on your pumpkin. So there's one tooth right there, and I'm gonna add some more teeth, just wherever I want them. And I'm gonna go ahead and just add some. I like it. And it's probably time to start gluing some stuff down so it doesn't go all over the place if it's time to go. So uh, one drop, not a lot, is the rule for this glue. Just around the edge. If it squeezes out onto your pumpkin, it's not the end of the world. It will dry. But we want to make sure we don't try to squirt all over the place. I'm finishing up gluing everything on. And I don't think you need to see all this. So I'm just going to fast forward. Here's a good example of how much glue to put on the mouth. See, you don't need a lot. Just a little. Let's stick that down. His eyes are stuck down. And I'm going to stick his teeth on. And he should be about done. Now, I cut this triangle out for his nose. But I don't know if I like it. Eh. Maybe I'll put... Maybe I'll just stick it on. But you can make any kind of nose that you want to. A triangle, a circle. Leave his nose off. It's, uh, it's up to you, really. It's your, it's your pumpkin. There we go, that's about it. I'm gonna add a little green for the top like I was saying earlier. And just cut out a little rectangle and stick that on. I like to glue it on the back so it's not um, seen all the way on the front, but again, that's totally up to you. See, there's my little, I'm gonna glue it on the, oh, trim it again. And then we'll stick it there or maybe on the back. A little glue, I'll lift them up and stick it right on the back. And that's pretty much it. And I'm just adding some stars onto my background, making a multiplication and then a plus. An X and a plus. X plus, right on top. That should be good for the stars. Well, I hope you enjoyed making this funny face pumpkin, first graders. I guess I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.